Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to learn about device compliances. Before we begin with device compliances, so far what we have covered, a small recap would be great. Let's do a quick recap uh, by going to device enrollment. We started uh, working uh, to make our Apple devices as well as Android and Windows devices uh, to work with the enrollment process we did uh, enable the enrollment option so our devices are ready to enroll but we have not at enrolled because we have not created any kind of uh, device policies let's jump into the device policies or device complaints here under this you have the policies so what happens is you need to create your uh, policy uh, based on the category if you can see here the platforms you have multiple platforms so if you're trying to do it for Android you can select the Android and give you any of the name uh, in my case I'm gonna give as Android policy name in this case I wanted to make sure that I should follow is naming standard once I give the description and policy name I should be able to start with uh, configuring if you can see here there are few of the options which are coming from the settings also from the location based so if you're trying to manage these specific uh, settings should apply for only specific location then you would be creating here that specific location specific policy but in our case let's first concentrate on the configuration options inside this you have the three different categories out of that device health with the six different options what we have one would be the rooted uh, devices that means if that Android device if they started uh, rooted then you will be losing the security uh, security control so that kind of devices are easy to prone for attacks so such things you can block it in fact and also you can check for other option require the device to be at or under the device threat level so this option would uh, makes you enable for security configuration for the device threat level so normally it would be a secure what we choose in the production similarly if all the applications are, are related when you're trying to download and install you would be validating from the Google Play Protect so that uh, specific related to uh, configuration for example you can do the Google Play service is configured is required up-to-date security provider required a threat scan ops required all this can be done including the safety net device configuration here you can see that block the integrity or the security certificates can be blocked in this case so what we do is we I will be leaving all these uh, except the a rooted configuration should be blocked if it is a root device should be there that I, I don't want to you know configure that so let me take the almost the default options except the block that's what I wanted to configure in my protection now coming back to the device uh, availability I can configure here my Android versions let's say uh, my all the seven um, is the minimum and maybe a 10 would be the maximum in fact just the eight uh, or maybe something like that you can give it maximum of OS version is 8 or you can give dot zero sometimes uh, with the Intune sometimes it doesn't accept uh, if you just give a 7 or 8 in some of the uh, some of the boxes so you should be careful what you're trying to enter so in this case it has been accepted but some uh, somewhere or other places it might not accept so you need to just give the right proper way that would uh, make more easy like 7.1 or maybe a 4.0 something like that so in my case I'm uh, I'm uh, pretty sure that uh, I don't want to apply any kind of other OS related specific settings now let's go to the system security uh, this would be the required for the password to be unlocked uh, or maybe you wanted to configure for the encryption of the entire the phone that is very much required because if you lost the device anybody can easily uh, unlock and then they can copy the required files as just connected as a USB drive so we don't want to leave our machines or we don't want to leave even mobile devices in for the for this case uh, without encrypting so we want to encrypt is required and you can block some of the applications even if you are uh, in trying to install from unknown sources not from your maybe Play Store or maybe uh, in this case it just applies for the Play Store but the similar policies you do have for iOS also but we can take as example for iOS also in this case but uh, a specific to Android policy we don't want to allow from unknown source and also company portal runtime integrity also would be required and USB uh, 
debugging on the device is completely blocked and let's uh, configure all these options and click OK click OK that would be creating but once uh, you have uh, configured these settings you can also apply for the location specific let's say uh, these uh, specific location only these policies should be coming from for example I wanted uh, I wanted to configure a specific location here and I can define that specific location and then uh, these uh, locations only it will be applying those specific policies and action for the non complaints would be I wanted to mark as a non complaint immediately and also I wanted to remediate example like I wanted to send for the over email so we have not done the email configuration side um, uh, if we have done that uh, it would have been easy to configure or take the templates we would be doing that in a minute or so uh, uh, once we have completed this the next step would be I would be creating the a template uh, that you can use for the notification purpose and that uh, automatically triggers an email will be sent by Intune automatically for the machine owner or whatever the email ID is you would be giving out here for the notification messages so in our case we are not configuring any kind of uh, notification and the scope is uh, we are not uh, targeting based on any kind of tags so then you can simply create it that makes uh, that makes the configuration to be you know available at this point of time so let's uh, click on the cr uh, create button now I can um, the policy has been created but it has not been assigned if you can see here the policy is just uh, created but it was not assigned to anybody that means if I go back to my device complaints policies I could see that in tune Android device policy is available similarly I can create multiple uh, policies based on my requirement in fact we're going to try with uh, Windows 10 and uh, Windows 10 as uh, as anyway we have to do it for our demo purpose and also we're going to try for Android as well as uh, iOS in in this case we have already completed Android now let's go back to uh, assignment policy how do you assign if you can see here assign is no so the best way to assign would be the go back to that policy and then click on assignment uh, this is where you need to uh, choose you want to apply for all the groups or you want to a specific users like I can I can select in this case a specific users group uh, for example I want to apply for all Android uh, devices which we can uh, I think we have not created in in this case but we can apply uh, maybe for all uh, EMS enabled users example I can simply select that so that that specific group would be applied but in normally uh, these kind of uh, security policies would be same for everyone so what we do is we apply that specific uh, policy for all the users in this case I'm going to enable for all users uh, apply save so we created one policy now we also applied that specific policy thank you for watching this so